Hi, this is Larry Shover from the CME Group in Chicago with August 15th energy com commentary. Well, yesterday after the API surprise markets uh, with a reporting a build of 3.66 million barrels for the week ending August 10th, the EIA today came out and confirmed that build, but actually had been significantly larger at 6.8 million barrels. That uh, combined with uh, crisis in Turkey and China trade tensions, put uh, September crude prices down, currently down 3% at $65 uh, um, for the futures price. Uh, in other news, oil demand in Asia's key importers, uh, fastest growing markets, both China and India, have been growing at a slower pace, uh, according to a report from Reuters, up to about 500,000 barrels a day slower on a year-on-year -year basis. Some are uh, saying this is due to trade tensions, emerging market uh, currency weakness, et cetera, uh, but also due to Iran oil sanctions and all the potentialities that will come out of that. Uh, other drivers of the market seem to be more on the uh, demand side that we're, uh, people are starting to realize that there might be a slowdown or seems to be a slowdown and that we just cannot continue with this demand growth in oil that we've seen breaking above that 10 year average for the past 18 months. Market positives, uh, what would bring that market back up, would include still two and a half million barrels a day of refinery runs. Uh, good, but not great demand growth at 1.6 million barrels a day. And also the general risk of supply disruption. I'm Larry Shover from the CME Group in Chicago with August 15th Energy Commentary.